Welcome to the app demonstration of Handy for All. This screen currently displays icons of two apps, Handy for All and Handy for All HFA Experts. The Handy for All HFA Experts is the taskers app and Handy for All is the users app. Today, let us view the users app. The product on the screen is the home page of the app. Once the user clicks on the menu, they are requested to sign in. If the user has already registered, they can enter the sign in details like username or email followed by password. In Handy for All, users can also register through Facebook. If the user can, has not registered themselves, they can sign up using the register. Handy for All allows its user to register from social network Facebook or the user can enter their details like email address, password, Username, followed by country code, phone number, they can enter any referral code, else they can hit on register. Once the user clicks on register, they have to enter the one-time password. After the registration process is over, we see the home page of Let us have a look at the menu list. The user can edit their profile like changing their profile photo and their contact details. The home section allows the user to go back to their home page. Followed by this is the My Orders. When clicking on My Orders, the user is provided with complete list of their orders along with their statuses. The My Money section. In this section, the user can view their present amount in their wallet along with the option to recharge their wallet. A case of emergency can come up at any time. Keeping this in mind, Handy for All has the Emergency Contact section wherein the user can enter the name of their contact along with an email address and phone number. The user can also invite their friends to experience Handy for All. For this, they can send a referral code using social network. User can report any issue through the report issue section. Next, we have the chat feature wherein the user can have a chat with their tasker. Followed by this is the About Us section. Here, the user can see complete details about Handy for All. Next, we move on to the booking process. The home page consists of main categories. Each main category consists of n number of subcategories. Let us select Cleaning as our main category. After selecting Cleaning as our main category, all the subcategories within Cleaning appears in the Subcategories page. The user can now select a specific task. Let us select kitchen cleaning. Now the user is asked to schedule the task appointment wherein the user should choose the date and time of their convenience. The user is now requested to enter the address. There are basically two methods by which the user can enter their address. There is an option with which the current location of the user will be auto-filled with the help of GPS or the user can manually enter their address. Multiple address can also be added. Also, the user can mark the preferred address. 
Now the user is requested to enter some instruction for their task. After this, a list of all the taskers who can perform the task will appear in the taskers page, wherein the user can narrow down their search by using the filter options. Also, the user can view the profile of the taskers, wherein the review section allows the user to see the review the tasker has got. Now, the user can have a chat with the tasker before confirming any tasker. The tasker can either have a chat or book a tasker. The user can also send a job request to its tasker by clicking on book. Now a job request has been sent to a tasker. Once the tasker accepts or rejects a job request, a notification will appear to the user. Once the tasker has accepted the job, the user gets the alert on the same. The user can track the location of the tasker right from the place they have started to the place of the user. This helps the user to guide the tasker to arrive to their place more easily. Once the tasker has arrived to the user's place, the user gets the notification on the same. When the tasker starts working on the task they, are, they have been chosen for, the user gets the notification on the same. After the completion of the work, the user gets an alert that the tasker has completed their task. Now, the user can make a payment once the work is done. Before that, the user can check the fare summary. The billing section shows the tasker's default hourly rate, followed by the rate per hour and total number of hours the tasker has worked for. The user can now make a payment. The user has three choice of payment, wallet, cash and card. Now let us make a payment to our tasker for the work they have done by using any one of the mode of payment. Once the payment is completed, the user gets the alert on the same. Now, the user can review the tasker. They can also upload an image and give comments to the tasker. In the My Order section, the user can view all the tasks and all the status of those tasks. Thank you for watching the video.